Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a makeup and skincare haul. I ordered online from Ulta. I got stuff from Sephora and then I have miscellaneous items as well like my BoxyCharm. I got something from Marc Jacobs, Kate Somerville. So I have a bunch of stuff to share with you. So I'm gonna jump into it and start off with what I got at Ulta. So Ulta was having their 21 days of beauty and I decided to order when I saw the Too Faced blushes on sale. I think they were around like 12 or $13, something really crazy and expensive. So I ordered three of them and it came in this really cute pouch. It says Too Faced peanut butter honey and I thought that was adorable. I really wanted the palette but I haven't even seen it in person or smelled it but I really want to. So I ended up getting three blushes and the packaging, first of all, sucked me in. I think this packaging is so cute. They're shaped in little hearts, and I just feel like this is going to make such a cute Instagram picture as well. So this first one I got is called Baby Love, and I think this one is my favorite because it's more on the natural side. But first of all, look at how cute this is. It is so adorable. And this is more of like a natural mauve pink color. Definitely going to be perfect for this summertime, and I feel like I could see myself wearing this almost every day because it's such a nice shade. This next one I got is called I Will Always Love You, and this one is more on the brighter side. It's more of like a corally kind of color, but I feel like, again, this is going to be perfect for the summer because it's a really nice peachy shade. Beautiful color. And then this last one is called Love Hangover, and this one is more of like a deeper pink really nice again so i got three of those and i'm very excited to try them out and then in the pouch it also came with this Too Faced honey infused lip gloss which i didn't even know so i'm excited to try this one out it looks like a lip topper to me it has like a gold shimmery like reflex in it so we'll give this a try and see how i like it so that is what i picked up from ulta i'm also expecting a package from ulta again because i ordered the mario badescu sprays because i love those but i haven't gotten them in the mail yet so be on the lookout for that because i'll probably include that in a vlog of mine next i got some eyelashes and i always get so many questions on where i get my lashes but they're from love eyelashes Com, and they're super inexpensive. I think they're only like $1.74, something like that. And I wear them every single day or as much as I can. So if you see what I'm wearing right now, these are them. And I'm wearing the Cara 48, which I always stock up on. So they look like this. Sorry for the glare. They look like that. And then I also get the Creme 43, which are very similar but very beautiful and wispy. And then I also get the Red Cherry number 43 as well, which again are like wispy and they kind of look like the Cara and the Creme 43. I love the numbers 43 and 48. So if you're gonna look on the website, definitely check out those because they're so inexpensive. I think they're better than Ardell and you can get like five to six uses out of them and you can stock up. Like this costs like $12 for all of these. So I thought that was a really good deal. So I picked these up because I needed to stock up on some new lashes. I also got my BoxyCharm in the mail for the month of April. I think I have a coupon code for this, so if I do, I will link it down below. So this month is Boho Glow. The card looks like that. The first thing in here are three of the pure multicolored contour blending sponges. It comes with a mint one, a yellow, and a red. It has a flat side on one side to kind of like contour, and then the other side is just a rounded side. I'm excited to try these out because I love the Beauty Blender and I love the Real Technique sponge, so I'm excited to see how these compare because I feel like some sponges are a little too dense. So I'm going to give this a try and see how I like it. I also got the Project Beauty Hair Girt Strawberry Banana Shampoo. I feel like I've gotten this a few times in BoxyCharms, but I'll probably give this away to be honest because I kind of have like my whole hair care routine down, but I'll probably give this to someone because I'm sure someone will love it. I'm also going to be giving this away because this is one of my favorite highlighters ever, but I already have two of them. So this is the Ofra Cosmetics Highlighter in Rodeo Drive. It is a beautiful golden highlighter. I am wearing it today. I'm so in love with this highlighter, but I will give it away to someone because I feel like I'm never going to go through that highlighter myself. So I'll be giving this away, so be on the lookout for that. And then it also comes with this Measurable Difference Concealer Collection 16 Color Pro Concealer Palette. So this is what it looks like. I've heard of this brand. I think it's a more like inexpensive brand. So it comes with a bunch of different concealers. You can even contour with this. I might try that. I feel like this would be perfect for a um, makeup kit or traveling. 
So I'm gonna give this a try and see how the quality is because I know it's a little more inexpensive. And then it also comes with this Cargo Cosmetics lip gloss in Taos. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. But this is like a beigey, silvery kind of lip gloss. It's like a very interesting color. So I feel like this would be a nice lip topper. So that is what I got in my boxy charm. Again, I will link that down below. Next, I got something from Marc Jacobs Beauty, and this was from Influencer. So I received this free for review, and I was really excited to get this because this product is pretty pricey on its own, but this is the Marc Jacobs Do You Do Drops Coconut Gel Highlighter. So it looks like that. The packaging is absolutely beautiful. I'm in love with the whole line, and I really wanna get that white bronzer because it looks really, really nice. So I got this, and this is just a gel highlighter. It's like a golden shade, and you can mix this in with your foundation, or you can put it on your face on its own. It has a really nice scent. I don't think it smells like coconuts to me. It smells kind of like suntan lotion. It has like a very summery scent but it gives your skin a really nice golden glow, so I am super happy to receive this. Next, I got a few products from ColourPop. So I ordered two sets. I have the Phase Me Out, which is a Super Shock Shadow Collection. I'm not going to swatch all of these because I feel like that would be super long, but these are like peachy and pink colors. I thought these were really beautiful for the spring and summertime, and especially with a tan, I feel like I'm gonna get a lot of use out of this. Let me know if you guys wanna see a look with this because these are just really beautiful. So I got those and then I also got the phase one mixed finish lip collection so these again are more on the peachy side which I'm trying to step out of my element I feel like I always wear nude lips today I put on a, like more of a brighter lip because I don't know I just feel like I've been so like blah and I've been sick from the flu and I really wanted to brighten up my lip so the first one I got is called the twirl and this one I believe is a nice coral yeah this is really pretty so this is a corally pink one Definitely going to be pretty in the summer. Then I have this one, which is called Likely, and this is more of a nude shade, so something more along what I like. This is a nice nude, peachy nude. And then this one is gonna be probably a little bit hard for me to pull off. This is called Updo, and it's like kind of a brighter peachy fluorescent color. Really pretty, but I don't know if I can pull this one off just because it's a little more bright. Okay, next, Kate Somerville was nice enough to send me a few products. They actually reached out to me and asked if they could use one of my review videos. So in exchange, they sent me a few products. This first one is called the Kate Somerville Goat Milk Moisturizing Cream. I have been dying to try this because a lot of people love it. We sell this at Sephora and it's just a really good moisturizer. So it says, replenish your skin with this daily moisturizing cream enriched with soothing goat milk and natural milk proteins to deliver deep hydration and help repair skin's natural lipid barrier. So super excited to try this. It's just a really nice daily moisturizer, especially if you have drier skin. So I'm gonna give this a try and see how I like it. The next thing I got is the Kate Somerville Exfolicate, which is an intense exfoliating treatment. I already have a few of these, so I might put this in a future giveaway, just because I think I have three or four smaller sizes. But this is a really nice exfoliating treatment. Highly recommend this. It smells like cinnamon and it really does work. So I got this. And this one I'm also really excited about. This is the Kate Somerville Nourish Hydrating Firming Mist. So it says, clinically proven to lift and firm skin while visibly reducing the appearance of lines and wrinkles. This hydrating firming mist helps soften and prepare the skin for serums and moisturizers. So I love anything that's anti-aging and firming and lifting, and I love facial sprays as well. So I'm excited to give this a try. I feel like I'm saying excited so much, but I really am really excited. Okay, now moving on to some goodies that I picked up at Sephora. We keep getting new products in and it's so hard not to buy the new products because I literally want everything that I see. The first thing I got is probably gonna be in a future giveaway. This is the Sephora Favorites Blushing Beauty. It's a six piece sampler with three full size favorites. So this is what it looks like. Love the packaging on this and I love the little bag that it comes with as well. I feel like it's really beautiful. And then what it comes with is a NARS Blush and Orgasm, the Becca Highlighter and Opal, a Tardis Lip Paint, Urban Decay Pink Eyeshadow, a pink beauty blender, and a Lancome mascara. So I thought this was a really good deal, and I feel like this is gonna be perfect for a giveaway. So I got, the next thing I got is the Anastasia Lip Palette Volume One, and I really wanted this for my makeup train case. 
because I feel like this is gonna be perfect for anyone who wants any kind of color. So this is what it looks like. Now I don't know how to use this yet. It comes with a white, black, red, yellow, blue, and you're supposed to be able to mix these colors and create your own shade, but I do not know how to use this yet. So basically this is supposed to be like painting and just making different shades, but I'm definitely gonna have to do some research on this. I am excited to play with it, but I don't know how to use it yet. So be on the lookout for this. Maybe I'll use this in a upcoming video. Um, if you have any tips, then let me know because I, like I said, I really don't know what to do with this. So let me know. Okay, I have three more products to share with you. The next one is the Stila Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow. And this is in the shade Sea Siren, which is one of the new shades. So it's like a purple iridescent blue. It's definitely like a mermaid color or like a festival one. I've been thinking of doing like a festival look. So let me know if you guys want to see that. But this is what it looks like. It's like a purple iridescent mermaid color. Very beautiful. Hopefully it looks nice on me because it's a little more wild than what I go for. And then I got two of the new Too Faced Melted Matte Liquid Lipsticks. And the first one I got is called Holy Chic, which is a nice light nude. This might be a little too nude on its own for me. It might blend in a little bit too much with my skin, but I feel like if I mix this with something or like a darker lip liner, it would look really nice. So that one is Holy Chic. And then I also got this one, which this one's called Granny Panties, and it is a mauve purpley, lilac, dusty kind of color. So this is it. Now, I'm not sure if this is gonna be too dark for me. So one might be too light and one might be too dark because this looks very dark. It's like a gray purple. And that is what it looks like. But I'm gonna see how I like them and I will let you guys know probably in a vlog if I end up liking them and keeping them because I don't know, I just feel like this might be a little too dark. So that was everything that I got. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will link everything down below that I can and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.